Good evening, folks. And I'm going to do a follow-up video on a year ago. And this is going to be a little different. This is... They have two versions of this. They have... A, they have several versions of Good King Wenceslas. They have... Excuse me as I think here. They have the Latin, the English, and the Czech version. That was printed out. I printed out the Latin and the English and Czech version is all printed out in one. Now, I'm going to read you... I don't speak a word of, of... I don't understand a word of Latin or... Or Czech. So... But I, tr I did some extensive researching on Czech and printed out... And translated every bit of that Czech into English. And translated all of that into English. So I printed out English and I printed out the Czech version. Actually, I printed out the, the English and Latin... Or side by side over here, so you can easily translate that into English. Now, as we said before, 1582, it was printed into that. The Tempest at a Sloy Dome, aka Springtime, is here. Well, Percy Dreamer did the first one sometime in the 1800s. This is how he did it. Let's see here. I'm going to try to read it as well as I can, so I apologize here. And this is how I'm going to read it to you. Spring has now unwrapped the flowers. The day is fast reviving. Life is all her growing powers. Towards the light is striving gone. The iron touch is cold. Winter time and frost time seedings. Working through the mold now making up for lost time fills gold and green enhancing flowers make glee among the hills set the meadows dancing through each wonder of fair days god himself expresses beauty follows all his ways as the world he blesses so as he renews the earth Artist without revival, in his grace of glad new birth, we must seek revival. And then, earth puts on her dress of glee, flowers and grasses hide her, we go forth in charity, brothers all beside her, for as man this glory sees in awakening. Awakening, excuse me. Season, reason, learns. The hearts decrease. Hearts are led by reason. Now that's the one that Percy Deemer did. Then we got John Addington Simons did. He does. Does it this way. Now comes the time of flowers, and the blossoms appear now in all things comes the transformation of spring, what the cold harmed the warmth repairs, as we see all as we see all by all these callers. The fields in which we play are full of flowers, maidens and clerics. Tell us go out together. Tell us play for the love of Venus that we may teach the other maidens. Oh, my chosen one, why dost, why dost thou shun me? Dost thou not know, dearest, how much thou art loved? If thou wert Helen... I would be Paris, so great is our love that it can be so. That is the spring version, two spring versions of Good King Wenceslas, written by two different authors.
Now, the Czech version of this. Now, this can be quite confusing because it's it is very quite entertaining because we all know how that works for certain individuals. So here, here it goes. It's a dark night. This is all. This is all the version of check. This all is English form of check. So don't be fooled by all this check and everything. This is how it all goes, and I and it goes as is. It's a dark night. The stars are bright in the sky. They shine blue. The countryman faint from the day's toil. Sleeps peacefully on his bed. When's this loss? Only the famous prince. He takes them to a peevious pev- vow. Poyous vow, I think. P-O-I-O- P-I-O-U-S. Poyous vow. As every day he got up from his bed to go to prayer, he steps to the window, muddying the ice nature appears frozen to his gaze. He surveys everything with a benevolent eye. Here, Prague stretches under the castle, covered with ice, covered with snow. He kindly... Belongs to the huts there where the poor brothers live. On those who stare at the huts, mercy will take him. Did the dream with its blissful delight wretch those were sorrows? Soothe the hearts that are troubled as they are burdened. What do you do to your children? The dear innocent girl, they starved with hunger. They don't even have more soul, and they suffer in the winter time. Who forgets it without amazement and the life killing frost rubs on them with on them time and time again? What is there to help them back? Shouldn't I be the father of my children? What is the God-given power for me? Before I would be of help to them, a heart quickening by love for the one's neighbors is dear to God above all else. Be kind to your brothers, so to God first, God's sake, you are here to celebrate the feast with me, which I will arrange in silence with a greater gift of greater thanks how secretly we will reach. Come with me, servant. We will both be more. We will both be more. Strange servant, get out of bed. We will go out. How will we carry the hermit, raven, with the poor food? They need more jokes. They need more jokes. Actually, let me see that. Strange servant, get out of bed. We'll go out. How will we carry the hermit raven with the poor food? They need more jokes than food. We will thank them for their those winter days. In the dark night, we will bring what they desire. Then, I mean, when then the gentle morning dawns, they will not know who made it. It's hard for you to not sleep at night and at, and to ex- exert yourself where, however, it will be a comfort to you that you were able to help your fellow man. It is your pleasure to wipe the tears of the despondent and heal sorrow. 
Now you can participate in it. You can share the pleasure with me. The stormy night results carelessly and the moon is shining and the stars are shining from the house to house. Bringing gifts, both priest and servant fight each other. The firewood, you see more, hun is needed. They put it on the threshold of the Nuzex and their joy only then in the sky the draw the dawn rises and they hold in their spirit. Here the same Christian receives his share like a heathen, a worshiper, a pronoun mad. He recognizes both presents us, his own God and his children. He is a devoutly youth enthusiastic as they carry abundant gifts hither and thither they kindly thank all the needy here however the limbs of the strange the stranger are shaking others are fainting from the stiff cold when Wenceslas Wenceslas saw Jonas thorny in the winter. He pitied him with a kind heart, called upon God for the help of the Almighty that he met endure in charity. Lord, let the Lord stand me in your law. Let, the, let me be poor with the salvation of my brothers and my servant, Rock, the strength to beat to help me fill your words. He suspects that heaven has heard him and asks you are are you wasting away my dear kind? Recover manfully. If they kill you, put your feet behind me in my slow he obeyed. Lord, in the foothills as Wenceslav preaches, he puts his foot and even the heat warms his foot, he doesn't feel much of the harness on of them anymore. Whoever devoutly ex executes the law the law of love, which the virtuous remed, red redeemer proclaimed to humanity, God gives him miraculous power. Therefore, praise to be God our Savior. That was what was written in check. That was the entire thing written in check. Now, I don't know how that would even be sung in check because I've never heard it be sung in check. I mean, that's one thing I'm not real sure about. Check. If anyone can actually hear the finding of that, please to leave me in the description. In the leave, please leave it in the description and comments down. Please leave it in the comments down below. And comment down below and tell me where to find find that because I have yet to find it anywhere. So, so with that being said, from my family, your family, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I probably won't get back with you till next year. So, have a Happy New Year, and I will be back with you probably till then. With that being said. Peace.